Hello everybody, my name is Ethan. I am a producer on a comic book series called Strange Encounters that I'm slowly documenting my creation of through the power of the internet on my YouTube videos and through my Instagram, all sorts of good stuff on there. This week, as you can see, I have a new setup, my art in the background with me sort of in the center. That's because this week we're going to be going a little bit more personal. We're going to be talking about where I'm moving my branding. So we're going to bring the camera in real close because I've got a story to share with you. It's not much of a story. It's actually a poem that I wrote a couple of, and actually closer to like a year and a half ago. It's called The Young Dreamer. And that's where my branding is going to be moving forwards, which we'll get into later in the video. So without further ado, let's just get right into this reading and get right into it so enjoy here it's a special book this book is where i write down a lot of my more personal poems and thoughts ideas sort of disconnected from the comic book world which is where most of my ideas go into this book another green book for my sketches and this is where i'm documenting a lot of my comic book stuff this is where i'm documenting a lot of my personal life stuff. And now, well, this book has a very special poem in it, one that I've shared on my website already, so many of you may have already read it. However, I've never read it out loud to as many people before. So let's get right into it. I'm going to read you a story that I wrote, a poem more so than a story. And this poem is called, The Young Dreamer Walks On. The young dreamer gazed into the stars, his physical being far from day, far from light. Yet his mind soars, branching its path into the unknown. A twinkling, powerful void pulls at the dreamer's mind. The young dreamer walks upwards on the branching path before him. Untouched, blank, cut-open canvas of worlds exclusive to him alone. Both there and not. Walking among celestial jewels, both creation and creator. Made by himself in this voided world, creating unforeseen, powerful, terribly forgettable concepts, truly unknowable. This world, without the conventional laws of man, the young dreamer's power extends from his surface to the depths of reality connected to him, wherein if one ceases to be one in state of mind and a lack of state of being, one would fade the other into waking, his eyes would open, waking to a world of convention, one not created by the young dreamer. A dull sense of power, control, wonder that is silhouetted by the light of light. Void, pulling at the young dreamer. Within him, possibilities of darkness and fear, which are equally as brilliant and beautiful as the courage and the light. Monsters, villains, corruption shape the creation of the world of the young dreamer. As do the good and the light, heroes and saviors stand up against their counterparts in this fight. All of which are a part of the young dreamer, the dull, the mundane world of the waking, mirror and draw in what faces creations. His worlds concave, break, reshape, mold and exchange all at the sheer will of the young dreamer, whose gaze lit up the moon and the stars. The unknowing, unattainable, discovered and acquired creation fly. The iridescent beauty stands with the raw, dripping, bloated out ugly grasped funneling visions of a world waking, molded and shaped in the palms of his closed eyes. The young dreamer walks on. He creates as he dreams. He dreams all that he can attain before the dawn of the day cuts off this void, waking him up again. Pretty heavy stuff. However, it's very personal to me. It's mostly about the idea of dreams and ideas in themselves, so it's kind of a really complicated thing. <laughs> I, I stopped short. I was going to try to explain it. It's very complicated. Very cool, though. I really like the wordplay in it. Um, it sort of flows out of my mouth very nicely, and I like how it does. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, too. But what the real chunk of this video is going to be about, and still is about, is the idea that I'm changing... For the longest time, my branding has been called This Mess I've Made because I've always equated my art to messes, messy ideas and sloppy designs that sort of get pushed onto people. And I don't like that branding anymore. I got tired of it like a year ago. This mess I've made. I wasn't feeling it. But you know what I am feeling? 
I like the name The Young Dreamer. And that's where this poem pulled that name out. And I really liked it. And so that's where I'm going to change my whole branding to that. The Young Dreamer. That's me now. That's me. That's what my poem was about. And that's what my whole art career is going to be about. The Young Dreamer and his journey as he walks on creating different stories, universes, pieces of art. As you can see behind me, all very different in their nature. We have abstract. We have less than abstract. We have some more realism stuff. And then my stories with my comic book, Strange Encounters, which is very, so very not far into yet. We're only breaching the surface, and this is the very beginning of a long, progressive journey to getting it done and out to you guys to read so that you can tell me what you all think of it. I'm very excited about that. I'm really excited to share it with you. And I'm really getting better at sharing my art, whether it's digital, writing, or poetry, photography even. If you check out my website, you can see some of that. So, yeah, hopefully this year's a good one. Um, hope we're already nine days into it. I'm hoping all of you guys are doing okay. Hopefully everybody's hanging in there, writing their stories, doing whatever it is, making projects. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much again for watching my videos. That's going to be it for this week. Next week we'll get more into the comic book aspect, but I wanted to make that announcement and I wanted to read that poem so that you understood where it was coming from. So have a great rest of your night, everybody. Great rest of your week, month, year. The year is still very baby steps, but, you know, hopefully we'll have a good one. And thank you again so much to Scuff Station Gaming for partnering with me. If you're interested in checking them out there, links are in the description. They're an esports organization that does a whole lot of cool um, broadcasting and awesome term tournaments. And check them out. They're really cool. And check out my links in the description as well if you want to see more. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye now.